Hey guys, today in this video I'm going to show you how to disassemble the 2010 MacBook Pro and install a new 480 gig SSD and how to install the operating system on it. All right, first off, we're gonna go ahead and make sure that our computer is completely off. All right, good. We see that it does have a charge. Okay, so with your iFixit set, you're gonna go ahead and get number J0, your small Phillips head. We're gonna go ahead and take off the screws on the back. All right, next up, we're gonna take off the plate. Go ahead and move the screws out of the way that you just undid. Okay, so first step, you're gonna actually go ahead and unplug the battery. All right, the battery is unplugged. Now we're gonna go ahead and unscrew these two screws right here with the same driver. Okay, and now we're gonna go ahead and lift up on the plastic and releases the hard drive. Now we're gonna go ahead and unplug the SATA, being very careful. Okay, so now we're gonna need this torque set. Okay, now we're gonna actually gonna go ahead and unscrew these. This is the T6. All right, now we're gonna get our SSD this one is a 480 gig from Crucial. And if you want, you can take this top black piece that's included and install it on the top of the hard drive. This will kind of make it have a firmer fit. Right there, so it looks like that. Okay, so we're gonna put the hard drive aside for now and we're going to take these screws that you just unscrewed from the hard drive and put them into the SSD. Okay, so now that we have that done, we're gonna go ahead and plug in the SATA cable, make sure that the connections match. All right, and go ahead and put the SSD in with the two holes. And push it down. Now we're gonna go ahead and have to switch back from our T6 to our J0. We're gonna go ahead and screw this one in. And at this point, go ahead and plug in the battery again. All right, so now go ahead and grab your cover and put it down. And now we're gonna go ahead and screw back in the mounting screws. All right, so now that we have all the screws in, we're gonna go ahead and flip it over and open it up. And we're gonna go ahead and take our USB. I have a bootable OS 10.11 install. We're gonna go ahead and plug it in and push the power button while holding down the option key.
Okay, so we see the install OSX screen up here. All right, so first up, we're actually not going to be using this screen. We're gonna be going to utilities and go to terminal. And we need to set the system date. So what we're gonna do is type date and you're gonna hit space and you're gonna type the month with two digits. Today is July and the day is the 13th and you'll do the hour, which is one, the minute, which is 38 and the year. Just the last two digits though. We're gonna go ahead and push enter. So see that our time was actually updated. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and click the X and close out of that. And you may have to select quit terminal. We're gonna go ahead and utilities again, go to disk utility. And we're actually gonna to go to the SSD that you have installed, the internal one. I'm gonna click erase. We're gonna call this Mac SSD, OSX extended journal, and the GUID partition map, and click erase. All right, so once that's done, now we can actually go through the installer. I'm gonna go ahead and close out of disk utility. I'm gonna go ahead and hit continue continue, agree, and now we're gonna select the one we just formatted, which was Mac SSD. And now we're gonna go ahead and hit continue. Now it's gonna be about 13 minutes. It's gonna be really fast on an SSD, but I'll speed up the video until it finishes. All right, so now that you went ahead and installed it, it's going to restart, and once it finishes, we're going to set up the data transfer. Now I'm gonna set it up as a new Mac, but I'm gonna show you the steps necessary in order to get the data from your other hard drive and put it onto the new SSD. Okay, so you'll be greeted with this welcome screen. You're gonna go ahead and select the country that you're from. Go ahead and do US and US, and we're gonna go ahead and connect to a wireless network. Okay, so now that we have the password for the Wi Fi, we're gonna go ahead and select what we wanna do. For setting up a new Mac, we're gonna be clicking do not transfer any information now, but we can also, if we wanna transfer data now, we can actually do from a Mac, time machine backup, or startup disk, and that's the one that we have plugged in right now. Now you can actually do this later with Migration Assistant and I'll show you how to do that. But we're gonna go ahead and click don't transfer any information now and hit continue. And we're gonna enable location services, hit continue, agree, agree. And now we're gonna set up our user. We're gonna go ahead and hit continue. We're gonna hit continue again. we're in. Okay, real quickly, I'm just going to show you how to transfer the data from the hard drive that you have connected. If you don't want to just manually transfer the user folder, which is right here, you can actually go in to Launchpad, to Other, and hit Migration Assistant. Now, when you hit Continue, it's going to ask you for your password and hit OK and enter and it'll restart and see we're greeted with the screen that we saw earlier and now we can actually go ahead and hit continue on from a Mac time machine backup or startup disk and we hit startup disk our Macintosh HD which is plugged in you can hit continue and it checks the hard drive to make sure that there are no errors and that the data is okay. And now what we want to do is, all we want is just the network settings. So we're going to just click on computer and network settings and uncheck the other ones. You can actually even go in and edit which, one, which data you want and don't want. So this is the user folder. I'm gonna go ahead and hit Continue. 
and we see it's actually transferring the data. Alright guys, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked it, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe. And if you have any questions, please ask them down in the comments below and I'll try to get back to you as fast as I can. Thanks guys for watching and hope to see you in the next video.